is our last command that we're going to look at today. Now the area command, what we can do with that is create um, a multi-step environment. First step is that we have to get rid of all the extra stuff. If there's dimensions or center lines, we need to make sure that they're turned off. So I'm going to turn off our center line layer. And I'll also set the current layer to area because we're going to need to calculate the area under the area layer. Now when we calculate area, we use a tool called boundary. And the boundary tool is found under the hatch area. So the hatch command houses the boundary tool because it uses the same technology and the idea is that the boundary will give us a, the overall shape of the part as a polyline and this is a multi-segment line right now you know that this is a separate arc and the big arc is separate and the lines are separate but as soon as I choose pick points and pick a point inside the shape but not inside a feature if I pick it inside a feature like this circle it's only going to select the circle I needed to pick both the circles and the outside shape, so I pick in between it. Everything gets highlighted. Right mouse click when you're done selecting objects, and you'll notice now that the whole outside shape is one object. Very cool. Could we grip it and get information? You bet. If I grip it, right mouse click and choose properties, every object has information. For example, it tells me what the overall area of the part is. It's 21.16 problem is I want to subtract the holes. That's where the area command will come in to help. It also tells me what the perimeter distance is, 19.57 inches. So if I actually wanted to know what the, what the exact length of movement is on this particular object, if I was running a cam around this object, I would be able to, to cal I would have that calculation of 19.7 total perimeter inches. So let's do the area command. The area command is again found under measure. So the first step was we cleaned up the drawing. Second step is we went to the area layer. Third step we did a boundary. Now here's the fourth step which is area. We pick area and the rule is that we use a lot of right mouse clicking with the area command. So when you pick area immediately you're going to right mouse click and use the add area option. We always add our area first. We'll then right mouse click again and choose object. So it's area right mouse click add right mouse click object and that's kind of the process that happens here we're gonna add the outside area and guess what the area value down in our command prompt line 21.16 exactly the same amount that was shown under properties so we've now added our outside shape we right mouse click we right mouse click to get to subtract we're gonna subtract the objects and what's nice now is that it actually shows us the objects being added and subtracted. So I know when I've selected an object. Previously, you had to guess whether an object was added or subtracted. Your final answer of the objects with the whole subtracted are now, is now down at the bottom. The total area of the part is 20.16 square inches. Pretty cool. And very easy. So hopefully this video will help you when you have to calculate data off of a two-dimensional drawing. Have a great day. When you're dimensioning a project, many times you like to have very nice looking center lines. So the center marks and the center lines match up, they look well, they look professionally done. That's the goal with the drawing. So what I've done is I've created a separate layer called Dim Center. We've added the Center 2 center line to that Dim Dimension Center layer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up my uh, Center Mark tool to provide for really good center marks. And here's the, the quick process to do that. Under Annotation, I can change my dimension style. And I can either get it from the uh, home drop down or from the annotation uh, ribbon menu. I'm going to modify it and I'm going to change it from mark to line. And notice what happens in the view here. It looks much nicer. If I believe it as mark, boy, that looks kind of cheesy. So, but if you add the line, it looks way better. But here's the trick once you set this up, you go ahead, flip to the annotate ribbon, 
under dimensions there is a tool called center marks you place the center mark at the outermost center position so what's happened now is I was just doing a uh, the just finishing the area command what I need to do is turn off the area layer and leave um, just the object and dimension center on because I want to select with the dimension center command the outermost arcs that's the cool part about this is that it automatically sets up center lines and they look good they put exactly the plus sign in the center they add the additional center line information if you need to extend it you can grip it and extend it beyond the part if you need to that's a really nice advantage hit the escape key now we can go back and I'm gonna go under annotate the little southwest arrow back to dimension style modify and I'm gonna turn my center marks to none that way I don't get two and three levels of center marks when I create my dimensions and or radius positions so let's make sure that I was in the dimension layer because now I have to get out of the center line dimension tool so I'm in the dimension layer back to annotate and we'll throw dimensions on and I'm not going to worry about the um, decimal places as of yet I will clean up decimal places in a minute so I now have those I need to create some radius dimensions and I need to create my circle radius dimension but this one I need to double click on it to edit so I can put in ah uh, should be a diameter so let's go ahead and delete this we'll throw a diameter dimension in because that's technically the correct option now double click on it and type in three space capital X space close the text editor up top and now I can go ahead and edit all my dimensions and bring it back down to two or three decimal places um, so we're going to go ahead and set all these precision to two decimal places and this one I need to set to three decimal places because that hit one actually had a third decimal place so that's how you create the center dimension center and throw basic dimensioning on the drawing